Champlain's mission was to chart the St. Lawrence. Like explorers of his time, he didn't always know his exact location. He relied on what was known as dead reckoning, making calculated guesses with crude instruments, finding his way through this vast land and the people who lived here by guess or by God. As we began to approach the rapids, I assure you, I never saw any torrent of water pour over with such force. was the first European to see instantly the only way you can explore Canada, the interior of Canada, out of the St. Lawrence, was with the help of the natives and their canoes. So he, he, he knew it could not be done with European ships. He was willing to junk parts of European technology, which was a, a huge step forward for a European. He saw that almost instantly. Within a day or hours, he figured that out, and nobody had before him. These rapids, near the island the French would later call Montréal, had been an unyielding barrier to all their previous efforts to explore the land west of the Great River in search of a route to Asia. North America was an obstacle. It wasn't supposed to be there. What Champlain and other explorers were looking for was an easier water route to Asia. Um, access to trade with, um, with the Orient for spices, silk, exotic goods that had to either be shipped around uh, the Mediterranean, around Africa. Uh, this was envisioned as a shortcut. When we saw we could do no more, we returned to our ship, where we questioned the natives we had with us about the end of the river, which I made them draw by hand and show its source. From the maps drawn by an Algonquin guide, Champlain learned about the location of what will be known as the Ottawa River, Niagara Falls, and Lake Ontario. But it was another great body of water that captured his imagination. They told us that the water is salty, like that of our sea, which makes me believe this is the Pacific Ocean. His best way of knowing where he was was to ask the Indians. And they were always his principal a source. Uh, the reason that his maps were more accurate than his instruments was that the Indians put him right again and again. <laughs> 